In this video, we're gonna be showing you a really easy way to do a nice teal and orange color grade using CapCut. So here we are in CapCut, and we're gonna use this clip of the bay in Monaco. We're using this clip because we've got nice blue tones in the sky. We've got some neutral tones there in the sand and the buildings. And we've got some skin tone there with Georgie looking out over the bay. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is deselect the clip by tapping the screen next to it like that. And we'll see why we deselect the clip shortly. So we wanna go down to the bottom and tap adjust, and then we wanna tap HSL. Now you'll see along the top there, we have our color range, and underneath we've got these sliders representing hue, saturation, and luminance. Now obviously every clip's individual, but if you follow along what I'm doing with these sliders and adjust it to suit the clip you're working with, you should be able to get a really nice looking teal and orange grade. So if you see what we're doing, we're pulling the reds and yellows towards that orange. And we're gonna pull the blues towards the green. Okay, so when we're happy with that, we're gonna go over to the little down arrow on the right, and we're gonna tap that, and then we're gonna tap the little check mark. Now you'll notice that we've got an adjustment layer underneath our main clip, and that's the reason we did this with the clip deselected, to get that adjustment layer. Because what that allows us to do is, if we slide it across like this, we can compare our grade with the original. So we've gone from that to that. So we've taken all those purple tones out of the sky, and if you look at the difference, in Georgie's skin tone, we've gone from a neutral skin tone to a really nice filmic looking orange skin tone. Watch the strap on Georgie's backpack. It's gone from this kind of purpley blue into this really nice teal colour. Okay, so we're going to deselect the adjustment layer, I'm going to tap adjust again, and this time we're going to tap graphs. Now you'll notice we've got the colours along the top, we've got white for exposure, and then we've got RGB, red, green, and blue. So starting with the exposure, what we'd normally do here is bring the shadows up a tiny bit, just to give us a little bit more detail in the shadows, but we don't want to lose any of that contrast. The highlights, I don't think, need to be adjusted at all. So we're happy with that. So we're going to tap the little down arrow again, and then we're going to tap the check mark and we've got another adjustment layer there. So, again, we can do a comparison. Bring these both along to there. Now this time we're going from that, that kind of purpley looking, little bit flat type of color profile to that. A much more vibrant, much more filmic look. So let's stretch both those adjustment layers over to the beginning again. And the end result looks like this. So if you found this video useful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cool videos about mobile filmmaking, video editing, all that kind of thing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.